Start recording. Hey Twitch, welcome to week 48 of Twitch for Beginners. I'm Kevin. 58. 58. 58. I was going to say 50. A whole 10. We've gone back in time 10 weeks. Just kidding. Oh, I'm Kevin. Yeah. Join me with the rest of the cast. So you, you've, you've used the ring of three wishes. Yes. No one has noticed. <laughs> Kevin, if, if you don't take any action, Durian will once again blink through the wall into the dragon's den. No. Nina oh, following cool. through the door shortly behind. I thought you were going to say he once again loses Vaughn his hair. Vaughn is just like, fuck that. Yep. You know they will instantly get melted by the uh, ancient green dragon. Yeah, this what is what Kaven says, go ahead guys, I'm going to take the back. And he just <laughs> leaves. No, I'm just kidding. Welcome guys, we have a but shorter session. That, give me the money bags, you know. <laughs> <safety>. <laughs> <laughs> And Caben lives out the life of a king. Sorry, continue. That's okay. We have a shorter session tonight, guys. We're just going to dive right into it. Um, every once in a while, just stuff pops up, so we have to start a little bit later. But thank you for joining us. And um, without further ado, Travis, take it away. You guys uh, just woke up. Uh, it is the next day. You are still in the capital of Cien. Um, today is one day past whatever the hell it was yesterday, because... All of last session took one day. Um, hey, so it's we just now... are careful people. Yeah, it is now the third of Preta. <clears throat> oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And, um... How far till summer? How long? How far till summer? Uh, so this is... Three miles till summer. <laughs> Three miles. Dream um, <laughs> so summer starts in... Da -da 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 -da. In the 14th month in Fogo, so that's about two months away yet. So it's like mid spring right now. Stuff's really starting to come into bloom. It's kind of rainy. Okay. All right. So you guys um, wake up and it's the next day. Uh, I guess what's the countdown timer on whatever the hell you guys had going on? <clears throat> uh, okay, so... I am picking up my birthday. So yeah, we're, up we're birthday. Nina's the countdown, I guess. Okay. Yeah, basically. No, uh, Nina and uh, Lord uh, Tegan. Are we waiting for him to contact us, or are we just like, if he contacts us, we'll co we'll talk? I, I, we haven't decided. Uh, presumably, we're waiting unless somebody proposes something different. Okay. okay. Um. And I've been trying to figure out uh, about these merchants from Taurus. And I met That's a right. bard right. and I met a bard last session, Amos Redbeard. Followed the uh, oh the Minotaurs you and the, the Minotaurs. The gnome. We don't know where he is. We posted a guard last night. And yes we did. You assumed yeah. that he could do what you do, basically. I believe was what you said, Burian. No, Nina assumed that. No, I, I, I suggested he may be a wizard. Oh, did you? Yeah. I thought it was the robe thing. No, I and said I, he's he's got robes that may be telling. That's kind of what I said. And then after he said that he could like maybe do during his trick, I hinted that he could probably be a wizard as well. Okay. Just to the fact that he could do the trick. Yep. Great. Great. We're and, up. And uh, just just magic. a point of clarification, Amos Redbeard is a merchant. Yeah. Right. Uh, there was no indication that he was a bard. Yeah, he was bard? a dwarf. I just got, yeah. I meant I meant merchant. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Maybe, maybe I was thinking barter. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a barter. -er. Barter. -er. Uh, um, I wake up and I um I see Nina going out and I say um, better take uh, better take Cabe and Fawn with you. Just you know, travel in numbers. Uh, I wouldn't be going out yet. Apparently, I've got to wait till like the afternoon. So. <laughs> okay. Well, when you when you do go, um, who do you want to take? Because I'll bring someone along with me. I've got. Teaching. Uh, oh, grab Caven. Okay. Fawn, do you mind? Fawn, do you mind spending the day over at uh, Llewellyn's with me? Yeah, that's fine. I like Llewellyn. He's cool. He uh, always has something interesting to say, and I like, you know, all the stuff that he's teaching you. So. Let's. I can't um, read anything he shows you, but. I can. I'm feeling. Look I'm at feeling pictures. spooked and cautious today. Let's um. Let's decide now. About a fallback point. Should okay. something uh, happen, or we get Llewellyn's separated. Shop. Llewellyn's shop. shop. Um, by at midnight, if anything should happen, and then okay. uh, if there's any reason, uh, let me see. Hold on, I'm pulling up the world map, Travis. Um, 
Oh. And I say, if there's any reason we get out of separate out of town, um, we head north to Halsey. Halsey. Okay. Okay. And we meet we meet there at the first inn through the southern gate. Just just no you know, just in case. <laughs> You guys sound like you expect <laughs> th something to happen this session. Uh, jeez. With an invisible gnome and two Dude. giant minotaurs come walking in a door. Yeah. Oh, fine. Last time we met this gnome, stuff happened. Yeah. So if we don't, if we somehow miss, if something happens today, or I, I don't know. I'm a little spooked after last night. If something happens today, we, uh... This has been, this has been two nights in a row we've had unwanted visitors pop into our inn. Yeah. Well, let's let's just say Llewellyn's at midnight, and if people don't show up and they're still missing from the inn, head on out of town as soon as possible to Halsey. Oh. Wait, midnight. Well, at midnight, wouldn't we be at the inn anyway? This no, This no. is assuming that we're not at the inn, period. No, I'm saying, I, I assume we would have met up at the inn before midnight, and if yeah. people are missing from the inn, head to Llewellyn's by midnight. Okay, and okay. then if people don't show up there after an hour or so, get out of town. No. Cool. Okay. I like it. Good contingency plan. Um. Awesome. So, Durian, do you and Fawn uh, head to Llewellyn's right away in the morning? Yeah, I usually head over yeah. early. So before before okay. they before they leave, um, I want to ask Fawn that that a uh, spell with the talking to animals thing you can do. Do you cast that on yourself or other people? That's a good question. You put anyone, Ouch. or is it just your own kind of thing? Allison actually doesn't know that, so... I think it was just yourself. Yeah, yeah I think it might be use a, uh, uh, personal. target itself. Okay. Yeah, yeah target yep. is you. Yep. Well, if you got a couple minutes to spare, check in on our, our friend before you guys head off to Llewellyn's. Will do. Yep. Um, oh, yeah, he's actually in the stable. Yeah, so you could totally do that. Yeah, we go. Hey. At Fawn's request, I go. No, 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 we go check out the Pegasus. Well, actually, yeah. before we leave, I would ask Kaven, um, Is there anything specific that you want me to to ask? Uh, I don't have anything else. I mean, I guess if you have time, ask him more about that place he hinted about. There might be treasure with the ruins. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, other than that, kind of give him just tell him what we're doing in town. I don't know how long we have to stay. Um, if he doesn't see us for a while, for like a day, at least a day or so, then maybe he should get out of town because there's been trouble afoot. Okay. But, I don't know. He okay. Says, he says he owes me, but I don't think he should. Well, we may need that, so let's, uh, not give it away. You never let's, know. Let's have him hang around as much as possible. If he, uh, if this, uh, ruins thing turns out cool, then maybe that's worth it. Okay. Probably will be worth it. <laughs> Hopefully. Cool. Yeah, so you head back to the stables before you go. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Yes, and you see Swiftwind is still there. And um, as you come back, like, a bunch of giggling children kind of run off. It's it's pretty obvious that he they, they were it, looking him over. And you can see he's, like, he was kind of flapping his wings just a little bit and, like, yeah, probably showing off again. What's new? Typical Pegasus. Uh-huh. Um, okay. So, I would s say hello to Firefoot first, because it's my horse. I got to. Um, Meaning you, uh, like, cast the spell and no, no, say no, no, hello? No, 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 yeah, no, not yet. Oh, like, okay, yeah. Like, say you hello, just pet, pet her. her and... Yeah. Okay. Um, does Luan say anything before I get started? Does what? Does Llewellyn say anything before I get started? You're like still at the stables at your. I inn. thought you said he was at the stables. Did... No, I said. Oh, oh, you when you said he. He is meant... Swiftwind, the Swift Pegasus. Win. Oh, I was like, I don't know why Llewellyn. <laughs> is it, in the, it, the, it the, is still no, at the stables. Llewellyn's you know, just like, there. Good morning, guys. <laughs> like he's casting some weird spells on animals. I don't know, healing them. Who knows? Whatever. Um, yeah, he's totally okay. like pulling feathers out of Swiftwind. Right, uh, that's what I imagine <laughs> like, him like scampering uh, up. Hey. <laughs> no, no, no. The, um, the Pegasus is there. Llewellyn is not. Okay, um, Dorian, before I cast a spell, do you have anything that I should ask him? Maybe ask him a little bit more specifics about our plate. What does he know about? Does he know of 
magic? Can Does he, he know of it? the gnome? <laughs> okay. No, I just... I know, I know. And I, cl I clarify to Fawn, and I'm like, you know, if, if we have him with him and he can somehow sense a presence, I, I don't know what Pegasus can do, but that would be useful. Okay. That's very true. Um, okay, so Travis, are you going to do, like, a timer? Should I tell you, or...? Yes, I will, because this okay. lasts uh, four minutes, right? Yes, yeah. so tell me whenever whenever you're ready. Or Josh's plan, the, the aerial Pegasus bomber. <laughs> you already you already have that. Its name is Hedwig. Hedwig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, ready and set. Okay. And you cast the spell. Go. So I cast the spell. Um, hi, Swift Wind, how are you? Ah, good morning, my dear Fonalyn. How are you today? Good, good. We can talk again for a little bit. Um, yes, so yes. I, have I some hope you don't mind me un entertaining the young foals. Oh no, they like it. They're... The, the little kids enjoy it, I'm sure. They've never seen anything like you, much like the adults don't. So. Yes, um, I, I must admit I rather like the attention. <laughs> So, about the uh, the ruins that you mentioned the other day, do you have any more information that you could tell me about them? Like, any anything at all? Oh, yes, yes. You were asking about the possibility of uh, hidden treasures that you bipeds would... Yes, us bipeds. Out. Treasures, anything that we might like, find interesting. Yes, I cetera. admit your fascination with metals and gems strikes me as quite strange, but... Uh, nonetheless, I, well, I do believe you know. I know where you could find some. Okay. Uh, it's simply a matter of getting there and, well, getting what you're looking for. We'll figure uh, out a way, don't worry. I dare say you seem like the resourceful lot. We are. Uh, it is up north. Uh, I don't know the place that, that you bipeds would call it, but it's a, a series of large hills... It's a strange formation from the air, actually. A bit too regular. Look like... Uh, gigantic claw marks raking the land. Such a creature oh. would have to be... the size of a continent to make such a, a divot, though. I'm sure it's just a, a quirk of nature. Interesting. Um, could you tell me any more about it? Like, does it look like desert, or are there trees, grass... Uh, um, no, no, hilly, hilly regions. Uh, there's vegetation as well. Some amount of cover. There are um, more bipeds any... there. Do you know what they looked like? Were they scary looking, or did they look like, like the party, or mm. monstrous? I must admit, I find very few bipeds truly scary. Unless they are in large number. Well, like the trolls. Like, mean. Like, they'd attack us instantly if they saw us, perhaps. They did not look like those creatures. They were... Mm, taller than you. Uh, probably half again as tall as you. Mm, furry. Um, muscly? To, I'm sorry? Are they, Were they very muscly? Are they big? Uh, uh, again, they were half again as tall as you. Durian scratching his forehead about all the neighing and whinnying back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. Um, they so... seemed rather aggressive, though I only observed them from a distance. Okay. Does he have information about the, the gnome or the um, minotaurs? Do you know anything about a, a gnome or his uh, minotaur companions? They came into the town recently I'm and uh, we weren't sorry, sure. What are those? Uh, a gnome is a small little person, kind of funny looking faces, bigger than their bodies, looks like a little, you know. Uneven. Um, minotaurs uh, are, are big, like, ones, bull like are they... things. Bull like. Oh, oh, uh, the, the cow bipeds. I've seen yes, a couple yes. of them before, but only from a distance. Gnomes. You know are they the strange, the strange creatures with the, with the colorful hair? Yes. Ah, He's well. seen them. I see her nod. I'm like, he has seen them. Yes. Do you know anything about them? Those ones specifically. Mm. They seem rather connected to nature. Well, in ways that other bipeds aren't. I've okay. met one or two, but uh, not at some great time. <clears throat> I uh, switch to English, or er, common, obviously, and say, oh, unfortunately, my spell has run out. 
What did he so say? I relay the information to Durian, and I say that uh, apparently the place where the, the treasure is that he's seen um, is up north. It's like a series of large hills that look too regular. Um, there, it's like claw marks raking the land. Um, the creatures Can I use that my bardic, it, bardic knowledge to uh, see if I know of this land? Tales. Um, uh, especially if it's something yeah. with an odd, odd shape. You know, that seems like there might yes. be stories. Yes, um, you can, but Or I can do geography. Uh, hmm. I'm just trying to think. Um, you can do whatever roll is higher, but put it at a minus five. Because he's seeing it from the air. Got it. And anyone you talk to probably wouldn't. Uh, I gotta recalculate this every time, so give me a second. Keep talking yeah, to me, no fine. Words. Um, so yeah, I, I uh, also tell you about um, how the there were bipeds there that were inhabiting the land. They were about uh, half, or they were taller than me by half, or whatever, however you worded it. Um, and they seemed kind of aggressive. Um, as far as the minotaurs go, he said that they seemed rather connected to nature more so than, than other creatures um, that he's seen, so... Uh, so, yeah. And that's, that should have been a plus 10, so I had minus 5 from it. Okay. Oh, I'm not um, even at 20. 20. I was like, yeah, oh, really? so that's a pretty good roll. Um, it sounds like he might be talking about a space in the uh, Locus Arianish border called the Fallcrest Bluffs. It's like a series of kind of uh, slightly curving hills that... Uh, it, it's like basically three lines of hills Wait. that keep going. You said I know that. I know that area. That's where the we just talked about that. You said Ariadnus near Fallcrest. Yeah, uh, that's the, that's that's where the dwarves are from. That we that I just met last night. Is that intentional? There we go. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm not answering any questions. Okay, <laughs> you I'm remember like, what you remember. <laughs> and then and so I say, huh? Is um. And he described them as these hills that were in sort of parallel shapes, and I give kind of the I parrot the description back to to Thon. I I say he said they were like a, like a claw mark raking the land. So interesting. Yes. And what is this area? Spe I don't remember. I wasn't there. What did he say specifically about the? What is there? Is it a a castle? I mean. I mean, it's um, a region. There's so. some sort of some sort of ruins or something. Um, ruins. Caven might remember the specifics better than I. I wasn't able to ask him again because spell wore out. I actually um, have something better we can ask. Someone I met last night. Oh, but okay. Well, perhaps we I look should, at Fawn uh, and I'm like, well and shop then. But oh. perhaps it's not. Um. I have somebody I've befriended, but perhaps you'd better not be there. She gives him a kind of strange look, like... Well, mm. It's a dwarven land, the Fallcrest Bluffs area. Oh. And well. you didn't compose yourself. Now, I'm not one to... Dude, cast stones. You're not one to talk, Durian, that's for sure. I'm not. I'm certainly not. And if you think you can keep, uh, keep your head about you, even if they goad you... We should all go along, but otherwise, uh, well, perhaps uh, we'll if it's out. for great treasures, I will do my best to. Uh, and this and the uh, yes. Swiftwind, he didn't. I'm talking in common, by the way. Yeah. Um, and I say, and Swiftwind wasn't talking about dwarves in this place, was he? It Swiftwind? doesn't sound like he was, because he said they were taller than I was. They're taller. They're yes. not shorter, I gesture to Swiftwind. They're not shorter <laughs> than me. Axe-wielding miners. Are they, cl is this <sighs> ruins, is this ruins close to a dwarven establishment? Dwelling, uh, town for dwarves, shorter people. <laughs> he just kind of looks at you. I, I, I just nod. I'm like, we've huh. got to work out the equivalent. Draw a picture in the sand. Yeah, we, of a shrug. Got... Yeah, we've got to work out the do, equivalent do, of a shrug. Do a wing thing. Like, the wings just sort of go... Yeah, <laughs> that's probably not a natural motion for him, though. <laughs> Neither is like he can Rocks his head back and forth. He, 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 he could give him a look that's like... Shrug. 
<laughs> anyway, so I I say, hey, well, this is interesting, most interesting, and Lord knows we may need to get out of town, out of the country um, soon. But so that said, before we go though, um, I turn to Swiftwind and I say, um, the the Minotaur, the the bull people, the Minotaurs and the the little gnome person, uh, they may be up to no good. So if anything strange happens and you feel threatened, leave. I say that in common to Swiftwind. We no. were Swiftwind, we were accosted last night by some old and unpleasant friends. And uh I don't know if they mean trouble or not. But we may have to leave in a hurry, in which case we will I'll meet up again in the town Haosi. It's to the north of here. If you fly due north, do you know where that is? Human, uh, elven habitation? We'll meet up there. Um, perhaps we'll counter you there. But if you don't see us tomorrow morning, we'll check in with you. If you don't see us, get out. And uh, I know Cabin would appreciate it. I sort of grimace, but move on. And I say... Fawn, did he, did he say anything about being able to d detect magic? Does he have any I didn't powers? get to ask him that before my spell ran out. Do you know, but... do you know, do you know much of magic? This one, no? Alright. Well, come on, we're going to be late to Llewellyn's and I've got a lesson. Alright, let's go. So, we head off in that direction. Cool. Yeah, so you guys go to and get to Llewellyn's and, uh, Durian, you guys pick up right away where, we are, where you left off. Um, Fawn, are you just kind of chilling in the back room? Uh, <clears throat> like, Yeah, I, I would be kind up? of observing just because I find it, like, Fawn would find this interesting. She, Like yeah. I said, she can't understand any of the books, what they say, but there might be pictures or, you know, glyphs or something cool that she'd flip through the books and keep herself occupied. Yeah, so Llewellyn's, like, explaining stuff to Durian, and, and, you know, he's kind of going over it with you, but uh, he you you think he seems to realize that it's pretty well over your head, so he kind of, like, breaks down some of the more, uh, the more, the, kind of the basics, and explains in more basic detail what he and Durian are he doing. He dumbs it down, is what you're saying. Yeah, he dumbs it down for he you. You can just put it that way. That's yeah, nice. he, he, he dumbs it down, and, and he definitely um, humors any questions you have and uh, actually asks you well, about I mean, your own as magic. A, yeah, I was going to say, as yeah. like, a caster, I at least understand some of it. Um, yeah, so he's, and he's got kind of his own professional curiosity uh, about the kind of things you can do. Um, is there anything you specifically tell him or don't tell him? He, he um, basically asks what kind of spells you have and how you use them and that kind of thing. So I would explain to him some of my spells. Um, sure. How I can do certain things that tend to be more uh, nature-focused. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I explain to him, like, Entangle, how I used it in battle. I explain how I trapped all those, those skelly thingies. Um, when we were fighting Venric, I explain how I can speak to the Pegasus. Um, with, you know, I can entangle in, that that animates vines and and whatnot. Yes, it's very cool. Ooh, you know, that can make mighty fine weaponry when combined with ammunition. Do tell. Mm. En enchant a crossbow bolt with an entangle spell. Shoot it at an enemy. Have vines burst forth. Trap them up. Durian, Durian's quivering with anticipation. Yeah, Durian, over you Durian, accidentally like... set something on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, Fawn, you've noticed while I'm being taught, you know, like some time is passing, that you've never seen Durian like this. He is a most eager and submissive. Well, I haven't known Durian that long, so it's okay. <laughs> it's still very outside of what any sort of yeah. You you've never behavior. seen Durian in a classroom environment, which is very okay. much what he is um, behaving like now. Okay. Um, so yeah, I go into telling him that, and I talk about how I could do uh, certain things where I can walk and leave no trace, or I can, uh, you know, yeah. use an did, animal as a messenger and things like that. Did did you um? You asked him about speaking with animals? Um, not just speaking with animals, but ha perhaps getting a, a wand or ring or something yes, special yes, to yes. help me speak to animals. Yeah, and, 
and he actually does mention that he has a friend who could probably, um, along with your own help in casting the spell, enchant a ring to do such. I say, you should introduce me to this friend because I'd like to speak to them. He gives you directions if uh, you want to head over there. I look, look to Durian. I'm Durian, like, do you think it would be okay to go there and uh, split God. up? Classic in character versus out of character. Out of character, no fucking way. In character, he doesn't right. care. Yeah, that, that's exactly how I feel. Out of character, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, eh, it's not a good idea, but Fawn's like, a that's terrible so cool, idea. Yes! That's a deliberate deliberate move by the DM to separate the party. But, <laughs> I but don't Fawn know. doesn't what know this, so it's whatever. So, no, so Fawn is very No, I'm, by I'm, idea. I'm wrapped up, uh, and I was like, oh, an enchantment, that's wonderful. You should, you should investigate it. So I uh, get the directions, and I ask the person's name first, because I want to know who I'm talking to, so I don't speak to the wrong person or go to the wrong shop because I can't read. Yeah, um... So, putting you on the spot for a name for a real reason. Yes, uh, and he does give you a name. He gives you the, uh... Oh, shit. I actually had a name here, but I completely lost it. Um... Boris Badman. Jeshua. <laughs> uh, he gives you the name, um, Seneca. <laughs> Why does it sound familiar? Don't, we've uh, had, don't worry we've about had it. Don't... Names with Seneca before. Have we? Not in this campaign. Oh, maybe not. Anyways, so Seneca, um, I ask like what their profession is. Uh vendor of magic, just like me. Though I would I would venture to say not as talented and certainly not as handsome. Ah, <laughs> oh, so modest, Llewellyn. Um, oh, you know you have to sell yourself. And do that to sell items. <laughs> so, uh, I thank him for the information, and I go to uh, head out to find Seneca. Okay, cool. Following his directions. To yeah, him. and while you're doing that, why don't we check back at the tavern? So, Caben, Nina Alia, what are you two doing today? Uh, I guess it's hanging out until it's time to go to the... Guys, shop. Yeah. So, so we're, uh, hanging when around, did he... we're hanging around the inn, and I've gotten my hands on some paper and some writing stuff, okay. and we're going over basic lettering with Nina. There you go. I need to read. Thing you is I... Dickinson's premium relish cranberry. Me uh, Allison, what? You were. You I, I'm relish talking to Todd. Sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, could you actually hear me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You yeah. unmuted what about like about relish after? cranberry. Did I? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I That's was right. looking up something on Amazon and the it was iPod Touch but for whatever reason the lowest priced result is Dickinson's cre premium relish cranberry so I don't know what's going on there I apologize you sure about you're that. not ordering cranberry sauce? I am positive <laughs> okay. uh, cool so you are taking out some um, I don't think you have paper and I don't think you have writing utensils I don't but I, where, where I would have written my letter I borrowed it from the barkeep or something Ah, yes, your letter. So you would have something to do today. Yes, I, I, I have not mailed it yet, but I wrote, I wrote a letter. Okay, cool. Yeah, so um, we'll just say you, you bought some. Yeah, uh, I, I bought some down the street, or I gave sure. the barkeep sure, sure. a couple of silver for something. I don't know. Yeah, did did you get, like, um, uh, like nice paper? Did you just get some, like, cheaper? Uh, just cheap. Uh, what do they call it? Um, Parchment? Parchment, thank you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just, I mean, I don't know what's nice or what's, but it's just something cheap enough to like just to be like, hey, Nia, look, here's an A. You yeah. An okay. A. <laughs> cool. So you're That's going nice. over like some basics of word. Yeah, basic, interesting, basic how letters look, how you should, and how you write them. I guess. In what language? Um, Starting by common. common. I assume. Common. common. Okay. Um. Cool. Nina, I guess, do you have any specific stuff you want to go over? Uh, like, any anything you want to learn first from Caden? Well, I, I just assume we just learned from the start, like, the basic. I guess we learned vowels first, because it's less... Yeah, like the think. alphabet. and I yeah. mean, yeah, you're you're at the very beginning of learning how yeah. to read, right? Very, very beginning. Yeah. Um, this is going to okay. take a long time, you know. But... It's going to take a long time, but I swear by the end of this campaign, she will read. 
or be dead. Not if, not if each session's one day. <laughs> yeah, not if each session's one <laughs> yeah, day. Yeah, I know. It's gonna take yeah. <laughs> Not if each session's one week. It takes a yep. long, long time. So cool. You guys, um, do you do that for quite a while? You have the basics after six months. A few hours. Yeah. Hearts, with hearts. Yeah, okay, cool. She knows her APCs. Okay. Excellent. So, uh, about an hour in, a, um, a man walks over to your table, an elven man, and you can he's pretty well dressed, you know, kind of a nice, uh, uh, looks like some type of servant or something, and he says, excuse me, are you, uh, Durian Burr? Uh, he's our friend. How may we help you? Ah, yes, um, he kind of takes out, like, a piece of paper and looks and says, uh, Nina and Cabin, right? Correct. Uh, Lord... Uh, Lord uh, Tegan wishes to speak with your entire group. Oh. At the soonest availability. Uh, oh, um, we, we can be there in a half hour ish? Ah, excellent. I will inform Lord Tegan immediately. Uh, please see someone at the front. Let them know who you're there to see. In fact, give them this, and he uh, hands you a slip of paper. Okay. Bureaucratic culture. Jesus. Well, we thank him for his time, and I just look at Caven. Yeah. Uh, Travis, the last yes. time we went and met Tegan in the office and the whatever part of the council chambers we went to, would it be big enough to fit a, a Pegasus through? <laughs> it would <laughs> like, like, you could actually easily get him in the front doors and into... um. You could get him into the place, but, like, the stairs up to... Okay, if you're going to Tegan's okay. private office, probably <laughs> wouldn't fit. Might be pushing it. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That makes, uh, that makes sense. Okay, well, then he leaves. I'm like, all right, Nina, uh, we'll have to put this on hold. Let's go grab Durian and Fawn. They're into the Allens, yeah. right? Uh, I believe so, and Travis, I, I quickly, like, look at the sun in terms of the time of day. It's still not time yet, is it? <laughs> you bring out your sundial watch, no, 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 I mean, you <laughs> and you realize you don't remember which way you need to stand for it to be accurate. Um, you know what I mean? Like you, you check yeah, like, the height of the sun. It's morning. It's morning yet. Yeah. Maybe ten a.m. Because during yeah. the morning, yeah. had it out early. It's not going to blow it, up if you don't get there exactly at time either. No, 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 it's it's almost, it might actually. <laughs> I guess we'll have to come back for it. Um, it's almost eleven yeah, Z's. Ooh, I'm gonna miss eleven Z's. Oh no. Okay, I guess we. We head I mean, to Yeah, we get whatever applicable gear we would need to look presentable and head over to the Wellens. Yeah, I mean, what have you been wearing around town? Because you basically had to buy new clothing to go under your armor and shit because it was just torn up and yeah. blood stained and, you know, just, just even that clothes. Paved, I guess, yeah, I, even, guess I wouldn't have to change. Clothes. I wouldn't have to change because the clothes I bought, I've just been wearing those around town, so I would have wore those when I came down. Okay. And Nina, are you dressed nice? Are you in your armor? How oh, do you I'm always in my armor while I'm outside. Okay, and that, you know, you guys have had maybe some reason to want to wear that anyway, so. Cool. Yeah. Small yeah, reason. You, you guys are armored up, um, and have it over to Llewellyn's, you said? Yep. Get the rest. Yeah. You are there. Speaking of which, I, since the gnome came out, but anyway, since I got my stuff stolen, I've been pretty anal about keeping gear with me. And since I noticed that weapons are carried around in CN, maybe less yep. so than they were before yeah. or whatever. I, I usually carry stuff with me anyway. Um, yeah. Not, and, not and like, not drawable. And then when I get to Llewellyn's too, I've been taking my armor off and getting down to, you know, short sleeves to, to work. Yeah, but, um, yeah. You're, you're, you're um, digging in and then really getting immersed in the whole lessons. So right. That's but awesome. I do have, I do have stuff with me. I just... Cool. I hope that, yeah, just yeah. in case. Nope, that's awesome. Makes sense. I will make a note of that, actually, that you tend to carry most of your possessions with you. I assume Since... you leave, like, you know, you can leave, like, your bedroll and shit that's not worth anything. I take the yeah. value of shit with me that I, yeah. either to protect myself or that I don't want stolen, so, cool. yeah. Cool, no problem. Um, yeah, so you uh, grab the rest of them and, uh, or you get to Llewellyn's and Fawn. I think you've already left, haven't you? Yes, I would have already, well, I mean, depending on how you did the timing, but yeah, I would have already left. Yeah. Let me rephrase that. Fawn is not there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi, we, we, we go in, we apprise during a situation, and we say, where's Fawn? What? Oh yeah, she got kidnapped. Oh, uh, Llewellyn, I, you see, like, something pop and black smoke just fills the room. And I was like, oh, yeah, Llewellyn, the, the smell <laughs> my of, concentration. Of, 
<laughs> rotting eggs comes out, and mm. Llewellyn starts ah. coughing and backing away. Yeah. Durian, Tegan wants to see us ASAP. What? Have fun. Oh. Lord Tegan? Yes. Yes. Oh, it's time. It is Fawn. time. Llewellyn, where did Fawn go? She asked about the, the ring to speak with animals. Oh, I yes. directed right. her to uh, my friend Seneca. Ah. Yes. Which, by the way, if if you think he's overcharging you, let me know. We will. Where is he at? S- certainly. Uh, yes, and he gives you directions to his shop. All right. right. Yeah, All right. Well, let, me, let me get changed. A couple, I, I, a couple minutes. I put on my armor, my chain shirt. I put on my armor and then my cowboy outfit. Your cowboy bebop, nice. <laughs> um, yeah. So fun. While while cowboy. they're doing all that, you have yes. gotten to a shop Seneca's. that says that doesn't say anything. You can't doesn't read. Doesn't say anything. Um, I I, it, uh, I would ask around and look for magic looking shops. Yeah, like yeah. I followed his directions. It can't be that hard. Um, yeah. So I uh, arrive at the spot that looks like the right spot, and I uh, walk in and ask okay. the closest person. That looks like they work there. Uh, where, if they know who Seneca is and where he might be. Well, there is only one person in this room, oh, and it's well, a little—it's a little gnome behind a little counter. He looks Does this little this. gnome look familiar? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, good. This, this guy's got like uh, blue and kind of white streaked hair and blue uh, eyebrows that kind of stick out a while, like a ways control. to match. He—he he looks like a gnome. <laughs> Um, okay. He looks up from reading a book and says, How can I help you today, my dear? I, uh, kind of bow slightly and I introduce myself and I say, Uh, hi, my name is Fonalyn. Um, I'm a friend of Llewellyn's and he told me to come speak to you. Llewellyn, that old scoundrel. Ah, well, yes. come in, come in. How can I interest you? Well, Llewellyn, uh, hinted at the fact that you might know how to enchant a ring with a spell that I can cast. I know how to enchant a great many things, my dear. Could you be more specific? Well, I would like to uh, permanently be able to speak to animals with the help of a ring, obviously. Um, and I was told that I, I needed your to pardon? come to you. Enchant a, a ring with a spell that I could speak with animals. Uh, interesting. Is that possible? It certainly is, but I'm afraid, my dear, I, I don't know such a spell. Oh, um, I do. I, don't worry about that. Oh, 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 I see, I see. You have this ability, but... Yes, you yes, want to? Ah, ah, understanding, my dear. Very well, yes, I could... I could make such a device for you. It would take a bit of time, and of course I would need your assistant in... in assistance in creating this, uh this device. As I said, I don't know the the magic myself. Would you happen to be able to estimate how much time this would take? Uh, At least three days. And I would need your assistance at some time during that. Okay. Um, Is there any possible way that we could estimate a cost for this as well, to know if I can afford your services? Why, of course, my dear, of course. Um, That would run you about... 2,300 gold. Please That's keep in mind that this is a permanent <laughs> effect. That's damn this is true. Reasonable. That's damn reasonable. Okay. Um, that that would actually be great. Um, I would like to speak Excellent. with my friends and, uh, you know, gather the the money to do this. And, um, yes, of course. Hopefully I'll be back as soon as possible. Um, we... We aren't sure how long we're going to be here, so as long as we can stay here for at least three days, it is definitely something I will come to you for. Excellent. Yes, please make any necessary arrangements. Half the cost up front. I need it for materials and such. I will absolutely let you know. Um, I'll talk to my friends right now, then. I'll go go find them. Excellent. Okay. So I thank him again, and uh, I go back to Llewellyn's shop to... to yeah, you guys meet up halfway in between the shops. Oh, good. <laughs> Fun, you're all right. I was worried about you. <laughs> hey, you're yes, not uh, dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead. Of course not, silly. I just wanted to go it, speak to Llewellyn's friend. How'd it go? Well, um, we spoke briefly, and he told me that it would take about three days to do, and it would cost about 2,300 gold pieces. 
So... 300. I do some... From what I know about materials costs, that seems about right, doesn't it, Travis? What I've learned about weapons enchanting, yeah. I don't I don't know about... Why don't you give me an um, appraise check? Can I get a bonus for having done a appraise plus having knowledge of... Sub starting to have knowledge of crafting magical items? No, but I'm not giving you a penalty because appraise doesn't usually apply to this situation. 14. It um, seems fine. Yeah. Yeah, it it seems reasonable. Like, like your estimate would be somewhere between one thousand and four thousand, or you know, somewhere around there. So, it seems like it's in the range for a ring that does this kind of thing. But but your knowledge is pretty basic. Okay. Sweet. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I I say like that's that's not bad. That's not bad so, at all. We can check with Llewellyn, but I mean, we. I would like to ask some questions of this um, Seneca beforehand um, to clarify the. There's many different ways a spell can be. Well, we should shouldn't talk about this in the open. But there's many different ways a spell can be imbued to an item. At least my understanding. Um, we'll have to check if it's permanently active. If it requires well, he said activation. It was. He said, he said it was if it permanent. Well, permanent, but is it well, permanent, but you have activation. to activate it? I yes, mean, that it, can't be that difficult. I mean, being able to use it a couple times a day without me having to cast and prepare, or prepare and cast a spell would be amazing. Even if it just had three uses in a day, that would be wonderful. Well, we, mm. can, we, can, uh, have, we can discuss the, how it would work and if maybe one of these things will bring the coin, but we need to go to Lord Tegan. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. So, yeah, uh, oh, that's right, Fun. We're, we're due to meet Lord Tegan in five minutes. We gotta in go. Soon. <laughs> in soon. In soon. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. I quickly... We, uh, we dash over there, because we're probably dash running over late over a half hour mark. Yeah, we yeah. You, you guys... Um, Head over. You with power alacrity. walk. Yeah, with alacrity. <laughs> yeah. Um, awesome. Um, and why don't we actually take a real quick break here? Good, I need a beer. And we'll, yeah, we'll make this the only one of the night, then, and we'll push okay. through for as long as we can. Perfect. All right. Go. Be back soon. All right. Kevin? I'm sorry, I got a text message. Say that again. <laughs> we We're break? breaking. All right, yeah. sorry, guys. <laughs> Bad timing break. on my part. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in five minutes or so. See you soon.